When I was nine years old, there was a famine in Africa. I remember seeing on the TV, and I had the idea that there was not enough food because there was a bad soil. And so I decided, you know, I want to do something about that. That's terrible. These people are starving. I want to grow up and, you know, help these people by getting plants that grow better in bad soils. And basically, since I've been nine years old, that's all I've done. <laughs> Meet Jonathan Lynch of Penn State, head of the Roots Lab and professor of plant nutrition. Well, you know, uh, most soils, most places on Earth, uh, plants don't grow very well because they don't have enough water, they don't have enough nutrients. So we're trying to get plants with better roots that can go out and get those things and grow better even in those bad environments. The team studies what the rest of us don't see, the very important work going on underneath the ground that enables the growth of healthier, higher producing crops. What type of roots work best with little water? Or lots of water, but few nutrients? There's a bunch of different phenotypic characteristics that we look at to try and determine like how we can improve the root system so that it'll be more efficient at taking up nutrients. Improving crops that have good root traits to acquire nitrogen will allow us to use less fertilizer and at the same time in developing country uh, increase crop production. So Mozambique is one of the countries that we have a problem with uh, soil fertility and the, we, now I developed varieties that are adapted to this region that we have like twice the yield that we, what we had before. You can really see the impacts not just you know here or in the U.S. or in our backyard, but all over the world. We just make more food. <laughs> yes, that's what we're trying to do. Research is being conducted on five continents, and the results of that research are already benefiting communities in need. How can we you know, feed a growing number of uh, people in poor countries who are hungry today? Recent positive impacts include stronger crops of soybeans in China, the common bean in Latin America, and corn in Africa. This is really what we're trying to address in our case. We're trying to use science to do something positive to give people better tools to feed themselves. Penn State, inspiring research. The Roots Lab.